1985, Joe Simpson and Simon Yates were on an expedition to Sula Grande, a mountain in Peru, climbing a new route. On the way down, Joe Simpson broke his leg. Simon Yates, in a really daring rescue attempt, tried to lower Joe down the mountain, but in the end reached an impasse and was forced to do the thing that climbers never want to do, never dream of doing. There was no way out of the situation except to cut the rope on Joe Simpson. Joe was left, abandoned, effectively in the bottom of a crevasse, as close to death as you can possibly get. It was just a climbing story that wouldn't draw me in. I'm fascinated by the thought of how do you come back from a point where death is so close to you that it's easier to let go than to fight on. And what, what attracts me to this story is Joe Simpson's uh, incredible sort of determination and courage and where he finds the resource to continue to, to, to struggle through uh, an unimaginable situation. One of the things I love about theatre is that it's a type of poetry, it's a type of metaphor. You obviously can't realistically stage a mountain on stage. Uh, so that means we're going to have to invent some really imaginative, clever, thoughtful ways to bring this story out. Some people will know the story already. It was an incredibly successful book and film. And I think those people are going to get a surprise in how we've chosen to tell it and retell it. It's a story of survival and it's, it is extraordinary, but actually the, one of the biggest things about it is that I think it suggests that that's within us all. So I think for me the interesting thing is the universal nature of the story, that somehow all of us contain the seed of, uh, of being able to pull ourselves out of a crevasse. <laughs>